Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at InMode. InMode is in the healthcare equipment and supplies industry with a 1.9 billion market cap on 1.2 billion enterprise value, so a good amount of net cash. Um, founded in 2008, so a very recent company. It looks like they're headquartered in Israel. Growth has been not declining, but revenue growth is declining where uh, it was high to mid double digits in the 30 to 50 range. And then the most recent year, we're seeing 8% revenue growth, but gross margins are still riding high in the mid eighties, low 80% range. And operating margin is still almost 40% with returns on invested capital, mid double digits in the 30 range. So that's very impressive. Not a lot of history, uh, at least here, but very big growth numbers. Income statement shows a little bit of increase in shares, quite a bit here, but then for the most recent three years, not immense share growth. Uh, balance sheet perspective, they do have huge amount. They have 144 million cash on hand and 76 million total liabilities. So very safe from a balance sheet perspective. As long as the company produces positive free cash flow, there's, there's no way this company goes under. Um, so from an investment standpoint on the balance sheet, which again, we don't incorporate the balance sheet into our present value of free cash flow and earnings, but from that perspective, it's very safe. And then their use of cash is almost entirely reinvested into the business, maybe a little bit through share repurchases. Um, but they do have 24 million stock-based compensation. So that has to share purchases should outdo that. Um, but their reinvestment is fantastic, which again, is great for them because they have historically gotten these immense 30% plus returns on the money and reinvest back in the business. So that's exactly what you'd wanna see. And their capital expenditures are nothing. Their cash from operations is gushing. So great, great review of the numbers. Now let's see what price we think is an appropriate, let's see what an appropriate price looks like for the business. So revenue growth, it, it has been, Going down um, to here, single digits. Maybe I'll say that it levels off quite a bit, actually. Um, or let's say 7% and then 17 on the P and price free cash flow because I mean, it is a smaller company, so they do have the growth uh, with them, the power of growth possibly with them, but it doesn't necessarily come with moat. And so maybe at the end of seven years, they, they do have a good amount of growth left, but it's not, uh, you know, there's there's really no no mode out of it yet. Uh, and then on the margin side, let's go pretty close to averages here. Hey, let's do 35, 40. And then on the share change side, uh, stock based compensation should not be out doing it that much. So let's do 1% increase in shares. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's close. So... I might have to do uh, some more research on this one and hopefully not too long because, um, you know, if these numbers turn out to be right, you can be making a fantastic return on this investment. So it's just doing a deeper dive, making sure that you can confirm um, the probability of these numbers and being more confident in them. But for now, with my initial review, it definitely looks like an interesting thing. Uh, hopefully, you know, you do further research on this to see if it makes sense for you since, uh, you know, to me, it's, it's pretty close. So I'll do a deeper dive on this one shortly, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.